So think about Michael Sikula from Ramulebosukweng, someone who as parents are just living out of 1,200 at the university. This is someone who does not have any, you know, material things to, to, you know, to survive the university environment. I did not have things like clothes. I did not have things like fancy food. Planning of your journey at the university is very important. So part of my planning to ensure that I complete my career, I can tell you right now that I used to be called a bookworm because there was no activity, any other ex activity I was doing at the university without reading and praying. So, so to be specific, I did not even have a, an opportunity to date at the university, if I may put it in that way. If someone wants to do mechanical engineering and, you know, especially a lot of people, especially a lot of people that are doing mining engineering, I don't know about you, but I always ask them this question and, and, and most of them, about they always be like, you know, hey, I'm going to challenge you. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of money. So most of them, they will tell you this and that and be like, ah, you know, but at the end of the day, they talk about the money to be like, hey, and also the money yeah. is good. Um, and, 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 and the story goes. So for someone who's doing mechanical engineering or who's in, in the engineering field and maybe they're still doing the undergrad and everything like that, they want to finish and also do the things that you guys do and everything like that. In terms of opportunities, you know, and the sort of the branches that one can go into, I mean, yourself, mechanical engineering, but now you're working in the mining sort of, and in also the learning environment, you know, you know, and also the technological environment, but coming from a mechanical engineering background. So what can you say to people in terms of the opportunities and, and also just those kind of segments that people can look out for even if maybe someone has done this engineering, but they can go into like maybe construction or something different, you know, what can you say about those things? So, yeah, uh, that's a very good question. And yeah, <clears throat> so like I mentioned that engineering is a diverse, diverse profession. Eh? It does, especially in, 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 in South African context, what, what we learn from the universities or even from our colleges does not really exclude you or position you in, 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 in a position where you are only limited to be working in just a specific uh, position. Especially mechanical engineering. When you are in mechanical engineering, if you look at the curriculum for mechanical engineering in many of the universities, it is made such that after qualification, you can either become a, an engineer in the, in the manufacturing space, you can be an engineer, uh, uh, in, an industrial engineer or a project manager, project engineer, or someone that is working in, in, in a manufacturing space, looking after manufacturing processes or just something in the value chain. So for someone that I think would want to be successful in this, in this career journey, what I would advise is that first of all, yes, I know money is everything, but I look, uh, I look at uh, career success as, as, as a value out of your profession. So before you look for money, look for, look for value. There, there are times when, you know, you just take a knock and do not take a position because it has money, but you, you take a position because it has an opportunity for you to learn out of it. Or, or, or you know, get to be given an opportunity that will uplift you mentally or socially from, from one place, place A to place B. So look at the value that you get out of the position more than, more than, more than just monetary value. You know, when, when you get your basics right, I can tell you right now that 
uh, money will just fall into place. Remember, companies do not buy, uh, many of the companies these days, they do not buy, um, they, they, don't, they do not buy intelligence, but they buy the efforts that someone put into getting things right and working. So, so, so that, is, that is the value that I think many of us have to be looking at. Yes, money is important. And, you know, when you talk about money in the mining space, it's not like the, the, the mining professionals earn a lot of work, I mean, a lot of money in that space. It's just that there is a lot of compensations that goes with the responsibility uh, that they, they carry out in the, in the mining space. You will know that many of our mining hubs are situated in the remote areas. And because of the um, uh, operating conditions in the mining space, safety is, 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 is a problem. So you really need to compensate people or attract people to come and work in such areas because everybody will want to work in something. I mean, it's non-negotiable. Everybody, everybody will want, they will choose to work in something over working in the bush somewhere. So how do you attract talent and make sure that people see, you know, the work in the bush attractive more than the work in something? So you need to have a way of, 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 of attracting that talent. And fortunately, the mining space, part of that mechanism or processes to attract talent is through remuneration. And, and, and that's why there's a perception that there is money in, in the mining space. But I can tell you right now that the basic salary that someone gets working in something is the same basic salary that someone work, get in the, in the mining space. It's just that on top of that, in the mining space, because it's a remote area, you have to travel for a long distance there is a health in, in impact when it comes to, to such operations. You, you need to be compensated for, for, for making a decision to go and work in that space. And you know, one thing that I know about engineering, you know, yeah. <laughs> is that is a tough cause. You know, people sweat. Like I literally see people sweat. Like um, they will tell you what a chief is, is tough, you know, um, the, 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 the over, like the work is too much and all of those type of things. And in fact, last week I was talking to this other engineering student who was also saying the same thing, where I know they can't wait for the year to end. And here are people like you who have been through the system. What can you say to a student in those situations? Like, Rana, like I didn't have any words, you know, I don't, the only thing I can say, you know, I'm gonna, uh, <laughs> but you know, you, I mean, you've been through the process and everything like that. What can you say to a student who's like, hey, it's very tough, you know, the journey, it seems like, yeah, it's too tough and, and everything like that. Yeah, you know what? I feel the same sentiments. Engineering is a difficult, tough world. But I'm one person that thinks that um, everything can be achieved if you put efforts and you, you, you dedicate your, your time to, to achieve what you want to achieve. <clears throat> so university is one environment that, honestly speaking, needs one to focus more than just anything. And I think for me, how I have managed to achieve it was 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 an understanding of the reason why i'm at the university so that understanding remember the influence that i had like when i mean my background itself was a motivation enough to push me to achieve these things but over and above that i also had a plan so i i had a plan of my life i had a plan which is was a, which was a tactical plan to complete my metric, I mean my 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 degree at, at the university. So think about Michael Sikula from Ramulepo Sukueng, someone who, as parents, are just living out of 1,200 at the university, highest one of the highly regarded university in 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 in, in the number one city 
in South Africa, Johannesburg. This is someone who does not have any, you know, material things to, to, you know, to survive the university environment. I did not have things like clothes. I did not have things like fancy food. So, so you know that learning is, is one, 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 you know, task that requires healthy, you know, healthy, healthy planning, healthy uh, diet, things like that. You can't, you can't read with an empty stomach. Also, you can't read with, with, with pap and, and eggs, I mean, in your stomach. So you will just fall asleep. So what I'm trying to say is planning of your journey at the university is very important. So part of my planning to ensure that I complete my career, I can tell you right now that I used to be called a bookworm because there was no activity, any other ex activity I was doing at the university without reading and praying. And I'm saying there was no other activity that young people can do these days. So, so to be specific, I did not even have a, an opportunity to date at the university, if I may put it in that way. So, so, so that, that's how I have achieved my, my, my success in the career. And I can tell you right now that 75% of the people that graduated from the universities within the prescribed record, they had a plan. They had a plan on where to start, how to start, what to do, and what not to do within that will interfere with my, my, my activities in my learning journey. And the same plan worked for me as well. That's very profound. You know, when people come to university, uh, we think about a lot of things like, hey, I'm, I'm born, you know, uh, hey. we're gonna be, <laughs> you know, we're going to be doing other things now. We were independent yeah. and everything like that. And, you know, then we, there are many influences, you know, some are very bad, some yeah. are very good. So what you've said is, is, is very profound, you know, um, have a plan and, and all of those things. Yeah. And, uh, I think that is, yeah, that, 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 that was actually a very, a mouthful, you know? 